Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we will be discussing how to apply a fast Fourier transformation using Microsoft Excel. Uh, first of all, you should click on the file menu and then click on to the options and then you click on add-ins. Once you click add-ins, you click over go and you need to check all of these. So when you click all of these and click OK, you will see this data tab over here okay if you don't see the data tab please follow this step and you'll find this data tab now in order to apply the fast Fourier transformation using Excel you have to remember a rule that it should be a multiple of two what I mean is that it can be two it can be four it can be eight it can be 16 it can be 32 it can be 64 1 to 8 256 512 uh, 512 1024 2048 that's it now we cannot go beyond this why because the excel is limited and it cannot uh, apply the fast Fourier transformation to more than five seconds of duration so we can only uh, apply the fast Fourier transformation to these values I will tell you what is the significance of these values so when you want to apply the fast Fourier transformation for example if we click over here and we click insert and we click on to the line chart and we'll get a line chart this is the EMG activity that is right now uh, so we want to apply just straight away the fast Fourier transformation not anything else because of course the signal processing is very uh, deep and it has a lot of strings attached to it but right now we'll be talking about the fast Fourier transformation so you'll click onto the column and you need to mark the row and the column so this is b2 in the cell is b2 okay so you click onto the data in the data section you should click the data analysis and then from here you sh need to click on to the Fourier analysis if you click on to the Fourier analysis and click OK there will be a box now this box tells you to define your input range the input range should start from this cell B2 so the dollar sign it, it shows that this cell is fixed so dollar A and dollar Two. So we need to apply the fast Fourier on this data from cell A2 to the last value. We need to see what is the last value. So we need to go by pressing control and arrow down key. We can see that the total values we have is unit 10, 100,000, 10,000, 26,122 but we cannot apply the fast Fourier transformation to these values the maximum number I told you is 4096 so we can apply the fast Fourier to this value till 4096 so you need to click onto the data analysis click for fast Fourier transformation now input range is from A2 from this cell to 4097 why I am writing 4097 is because the headers this a1 and b1 are the headers and they we don't want them to be included if i add simply 4096 it will show me an error so let's do this and you can set the output to output range or the new workbook or any place you want so right now i'll select the output to cell b2 and please see i'm writing this 4096 it will give me an error it will give you this error that the number of input values must be a power of 2 like I mentioned over here so I should click OK and I should fix the problem and click OK and it will take some time and then this is the application of fast Fourier transformation you can also uh, if you want to do IMAP so you can you know keep the absolute values with this and over here you need to write space is equal to imaps and 
you need to select the number from this to and this is the absolute value and you need to double click and it, it will take all the way down and this is the absolute value from the fast Fourier transformation and now finally if I click on to the insert and click on to the line chart you will see that the fast Fourier transformation of this EMG signal this portion of the EMG signal from from cell A2 to 4096 has been shown over here but always remember that we take half of the values to draw this this is technically because this is a mirror image and it is uh, inshallah i'll try to cover this in another video thank you very much